I found a really cool way to learn the contents of a book better, especially a book that you just read, and it's using ChatGPT. So let me show you here. All right, what we're gonna do is gonna make sure that GPT-4, the default, is selected. In the bottom left corner, let's zoom in. I'm gonna click this, and we're gonna go to Custom Instructions. Okay, and Custom Instructions is something that's sent to the chat before it writes a response. So you have two options here in the first box, it's what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? I leave that one blank. But the bottom one is how would you like ChatGPT to respond? And I'm gonna enable this. And this is the prompt that you're gonna write. You're gonna fill in the details for the book that you're reading. Uh, but in this example, I'm gonna use Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. So I write, you are Robert Kiyosaki, author of the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Everything you say should draw from the ideas of that book and nothing else. So the good thing about this prompt is, it's gonna be like you're having a conversation with the book's author. What better way to learn the contents of a book and to have it seep into your memory than to ask dynamic questions to that author? So click save, make sure it's enabled for new chats. And now we got a full chat GPT that's been trained on the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book. So now you can ask it questions, you can bounce some feedback off of it, you can get some answers to make sure you know the key elements the key ideas of that book. All right, so let's go through a few examples here. First one, I've been thinking about getting a new job. Now I kind of know what Rich Dad, Poor Dad would say about this, but we're gonna make sure it's saying the right things. So I'm thinking about getting a new job, possibly working for retail. What do you think? Let's hit enter. Okay, look at this, the chat's ready, let's go. While getting a new job is a decision that can greatly affect your financial future, in the context of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, my Rich Dad often emphasized that you should not work for money. Instead, let money work for you. Perfect. That's exactly what this book would say. That's exactly what Robert would say if you told him that you're thinking about getting a job. You know, it gets you a steady paycheck, but the problem is you can't escape the rat race. And that's something he talks about in the early chapters. You need to work on something that will create money for you without you having to work. So he always emphasizes passive income or building a business. Okay, he goes on to say that this retail job is a good learning opportunity and it can teach you something, but instead you should focus on acquiring assets that generate income for you, such as real estate, stocks, or starting your own business. Something I just mentioned. Okay, the key in business and in life is to acquire assets and not liabilities. All right, let's ask another question here. Let's write, I have $500 left over from every paycheck. What should I do with that money? So you don't even have to read the book with this type of conversation. You can just put in any type of book that you wanna read and ask it questions and learn about the book through conversation. It's a wonderful way to learn. So I'm gonna hit enter here. And let's see what Robert Kiyosaki would say if I asked him that question. Again, drilling home the point to acquire assets. Okay, assets are things that put money in your pocket, not take money out. And this is the key here, it's the key point of the book. Most people follow the philosophy of the poor dad. They use extra money to acquire liabilities. Like they'll buy a new car, a bigger house, or luxury items. You know, they'll spend that $500 on themselves. But the rich dad invests that money in income generating assets like real estate, stocks, or bonds. So the answer for something like 500 would be to invest in stocks or bonds, maybe dividend stocks, something that gets you money on that money. And he goes on to some of the things that you could invest that $500 with. So that's amazing. That's two answers drawn directly from the book. All right, let's do one more to show you the power of these custom prompts. And this question, let's do something that's against the philosophies of the book and see if it redirects us. All right, let's do something like tax season is coming up and I want to get ahead. I'm thinking about doing my taxes now instead of two months from now. What do you think? And I have an idea of what he's going to say, but let's see. Okay, and the main point to take away from this answer is that the rich get deductions from their taxes, and they also get tax credits. While the poor that are working an income-related job, they get taxed more, or the rich people take advantage of their businesses and their investments so they can get tax credits. It says it right here, the poor dad mentality is to do your taxes just to get them out of the way, often missing potential deductions and strategies that could save you money or even generate additional income. And the rich dad approach 
is to optimize for tax benefits, also to consult tax professionals to ensure you're making the most of your tax laws to build your wealth. Again, you can use custom prompts in ChatGPT to learn all about a book that you are currently studying. And high level overview how to do that is in the bottom left corner, you're gonna click your profile, you're gonna go to custom instructions. You're gonna ignore this first box here, but you're gonna write on the second box. What you're gonna write is, it's a prompt I found really works. Okay, what you're gonna write is, you are, and then insert your author here, and then the author of, and then the book that you're currently reading. In this case, it's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Then you want them to say that everything you say should draw from the ideas of that book and nothing else. You don't want other information like his other books seeping in because what you're studying is just the ideas of this book. I have tried before to put the ideas of this book and everything else he has written, but I found the ideas to be too convoluted. So I like to just delete this, just stick to one book at a time. You know, make sure you save it, enable it for new chats, and there you can start talking to the author. It's a good way to have a back and forth to bounce ideas off of him and to see if your ideas fit within the framework of the ideas of the book you're reading. I find it's a great way to learn. I do it often. I'm gonna be making another video about how I do that for relationships. And it's really cool because you can tell them stories about your life and see how the author would respond to your situation. It's like your own personal therapy session. All right, I hope this video helps. Try it out and let me know how it goes. All right, later.